Okay, today we're going to talk about um, making uh, aluminum nitrate flash powder, which is a very energetic reaction. And here we go, we have um, some aluminum powder that I showed how to make in one of my previous videos. Here, let's take a look at this. This is kind of messy stuff, but I've been grinding it in a ball mill. Okay. There's our aluminum powder. Always label your containers. You don't want to get them mixed up when you're doing chemistry. And here's something called stump out. Stump out is, or stump remover, is a, a sodium nitrate. Although uh, they used to be required by law to tell you what you're buying in the stores, but since the corporations run our government, they're uh, they have bribed our officials to uh, make it so that they don't have to tell us what they're selling us anymore. But this is a real strong oxidizer, and then it's good for rocket motor fuel and some other things. We're going to do some interesting projects with this type of stuff. <clears throat> and here is some um, printer paper. So it turns out, uh, well, I don't know if you guys watched my thermite video. I just kind of roughed it out, just took some scoops of uh, chemicals and mixed them together, but actually the more accurate way, the more accurate way that chemists like to uh, measure stuff out is with a scales, and we have a scales here, and you can't just stick the chemicals on the scale, usually they'll have something that they'll call weighing paper, and I've just taken some computer paper and I'm going to fold it in half like so, and uh, then we can measure out our chemicals with a little scooper thing like this, <coughs> and uh, we can get it more accurate. See, chemistry, atoms always combine in a stoichiometric ratio, which means that there's an integer or a, a counting number amount of one per other. And so they, they usually count out things in uh, moles, or number of molecules, not the animal mole. Moles is a uh, number of atoms. Avogadro's number, I believe it's 6.023 times some huge number. I forget. I'm going to have to look it up. But it's a huge amount of atoms, and uh, the easiest way to uh, compare that to real life quantities is through the weight because we know what the weight of each atom is and we can figure out the weight of molecules are and so we can figure out how much it's going to uh, weigh <coughs> let's let's take a look at our scales here so here's our scale and we can turn this guy on okay and so it reads 0.0, .0. And we'll put our weighing paper on there, and it says 2.3. So here's a neat little button called tear. And what that does is resets the zero, accounting for the weight of the paper. So we're going to take our aluminum, powdered aluminum, and uh, it turns out that the optimum ratio for the uh, aluminum uh, sodium nitrate reaction is about 30% uh, powdered aluminum to 70% uh, the uh, sodium nitrate. Okay, sodium nitrate, the oxidizer. And so let's just weigh, weigh this out. I did some calculations and I'm going to try to hit these numbers. So let's see what we got here 0.4. And I think I was going to try to go to 0 0.8. Okay, 0 0.7. 0 0.8. So that's 0.8 grams of... Here we go, where is it? Powdered aluminum. Okay, so the powdered aluminum is our fuel. No, oh, 0.9. Close enough. All right. And so we are going to 
take our chemicals and I used this thing last time. You, you want to mix them up really good. And this is just something I had around, a plastic container. It's probably better if I had a mortar and pestle, but I do not. So we will add our powdered aluminum into there. And I'm going to just reuse our weighing paper. And okay, so it says 0.0, .0 again. And I'm going to clean off my spoon because I don't want to contaminate. A good chemist will not contaminate his uh, containers of, of uh, chemicals, right? So I'm going to find something to wipe off here. that spoon with. Oh, there we go. So just clean it up real good. Make sure we don't get any of our aluminum reagents into our uh, fresh container of the nitrates. Okay, so nitrate, sodium nitrate is a strong oxidizer. And I'm going to measure out about 1.9 grams of this stuff. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, close enough. I'm not going to worry about that. This went a little bit over on the other one, a little bit over on this one. It's close to the, the ratio that it's supposed to be. So it's 2.1. So we're going to go with that. And so I'll take this nitrate and pour it in to our little container down here. Now let's just bring this guy up here. There we go. So we have the aluminum and the nitrate and let's just try mixing this stuff up. There we go. I'm just going to shake it. And uh, I have a little spoon to crush it up and mix it. It's kind of like a mortar and pestle. Not quite as good, but get some of the lumps out of there. Mix it up really good. And uh, then we'll try lighting that on fire and seeing how well that burns. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take our flash powder outside because uh, yeah, it's a little bit too dangerous to light this stuff inside. And so here we go. Let's make a make a little pile of it down on the ground. Let's see if we can light this thing on fire. Okay. Okay. So we'll uh, try to get our torch going, I guess. Okay, so there's our torch. I don't know if you can see the flame on that. It's a pretty good flame there. Let's see if we can light this thing on fire without the magnesium. Oh, there we go. Oof. Hopefully I didn't burn up my camera down there. Whoa. Look at that. That was pretty bright. Okay. Anyway, there's the aluminum nitrate flash powder. 
pretty neat chemical experiment. Okay. So we'll uh, try to get our torch going, I guess. Okay, so there's our torch. See the flame on that? It's a pretty good flame there. Let's see if we can light this thing on fire without the magnesium. Hopefully I didn't burn up my camera down there. Whoa. Look at that. That was pretty bright. Okay. Well, anyway, there's the aluminum nitrate flash powder. Pretty neat chemical experiment.